I want to tell you how Rafa can help you to lead a guilt-free life. No, I'm not referring to the tennis player. I'm referring to the acronym. Rafa stands for Reflect, Assess, Forgiveness and Amend. And this is four easy steps that you can use to help you live a lighter life and not to carry unnecessary guilt along. The first step is to reflect, and this is about yourself. You need to know what is your values. Do a value exercise and determine what is your core values. And it doesn't help you say you have 10. You really need to narrow it down. Maybe to three core values, such as integrity, commitment, non-judgmentalness, or whatever your core values might be. You also need to reflect on what is your strengths, what is the things that you can use in your daily life to do good, but also be aware of your developmental opportunities. I don't like to call it weaknesses. I like to see it as opportunity of something that if you're aware on, you can make it better or you can work on it. For example, impatience. The second one is to assess. And assess is about the thing or the situation that you are feeling guilty about. It's looking honestly at the thing or the situation and assess whether your guilt is a appropriate or inappropriate. Whether the guilt is needed or whether it's something that was really unintentional. So there's a difference between something that you do intentionally versus unintentionally a thing or a situation that might have occurred where you had a hand in. So is it intentional, unintentional? Is it rational or irrational? And is it appropriate or inappropriate? An easy way to think about it is also, is my response and the feeling I have a normal reaction to an abnormal situation? Or am I feeling something abnormal given a normal situation? And this is this abnormal guilt feelings, which is the ones that we need to get rid of to live lighter. The third step in Rafa is forgiveness. And forgiveness is about forgiving yourself. If you have made a mistake, for example, hurting someone, maybe intentionally or unintentionally, or just not thinking in the moment, whether you've said something hurtful, whether there was betrayal or dishonesty. But forgiveness is also about neglecting yourself. Perhaps always putting other people before you and not taking care of yourself, not exercising, not sleeping enough, overfilling your plate with commitments. So it's forgiving yourself, but it's also about asking forgiveness from someone that you've potentially hurt or potentially have not acted appropriately. You have to ask this forgiveness and also accept that it might not be granted, but it has to come from a sincere and honest place. It mustn't just be words that you utter. And the last step of Rafa is then to make amends, whether it's something that you've then, as I said, guilt towards something in your own life or towards yourself or something that you feel guilty about that you've done some it may be in your life towards someone else and to make amends you really need to have a growth mindset you need to understand that we will make mistakes but we learn through the mistakes it doesn't mean we're failing we will get better at something say for example in patience you know if you practice counting to 10 or whatever the technique is that you use it might get better but we have to practice to learn, to change our mindset. We also have to, in this amendment phase, be deliberate in our actions and really have an action plan. How you're going to change your behavior, how you're going to change things, and again, how you're even going to take better care of yourself. You don't want to live a life full of regrets. You don't want to get to the end of your time and think, I should have, if only I could. I hope Rafa will accompany you on your journey ahead to help you lead a lighter, guilt-free life.